welcome back to my channel so today i think i'm gonna start off a weekend in my life video i cannot believe july is almost over oh my gosh this summer is just flying by i'm really excited for august though i have a lot of fun things happening next month but dang it feels like summer literally just started right cleo so if you've seen any of my recent videos you would probably know that it has actually been quite gloomy in just actually like all of korea over the past month it is monsoon season so it's expected that there's going to be a ton of rain and today's weather in particular is just really weird it was really sunny this morning and then we had a thunderstorm then it was cloudy and now the sun is coming back out so i really don't know what to expect for the rest of the day but there is a place in busan that i've been wanting to go to for a long time so i think we're gonna just go right now while it's not raining i think we'll head over there it is a huge market and one of the things they have there is a huge like flower market which i've always wanted to go to a big flower market so i think i'll maybe get a couple of bouquets to just brighten up my house with today so that is what i have going on today and then i might go to a cafe and do some studying i'm going to bring my book there but then tomorrow i'm going to visit ollie and daegu so it will be a fun weekend both in and out of busan and if you're new here be sure to subscribe join our family for more videos of this cute little peach are you sleepy cleo all right anyways i am going to just pack up my purse head out and i'll see you guys when we get to the market I just got here it is so quiet right now i assume just because it's a weekday most people i think come here on the weekend um but downstairs it was mostly just shoes i think this next floor is closed and i think the third floor is flowers so we're gonna go up to the third floor I should speak quiet. They have a whole like section of the floor for faux flowers, which I got a couple, and then now I'm in the fresh flower section. It smells so good. I'm gonna look for a eucalyptus to hang on my shower, but it's just so big. I'm, I'm kind of overwhelmed. Okay, so a lot of you guys ask, where do I find the cafes that I go to? I find a lot of them on Instagram, but I'm in kind of like a less aesthetic cafe area right now. Like it's mostly just franchises. But what I do is I go on Kakao and then I click coffee and you can do this on neighbor too. And then it just has all of these different coffee shops and you can set it to like the closest ones near you. But I found a pretty cute looking one right here. I marked it. And this is kind of what it looks like in the pictures. There's like some really, I don't know, it just looks cute, it's like a vibe. So we're gonna go check it out. This red dot is where I am right now, and this yellow star is where the cafe is, so it's literally right across the street. Okay, 
So at the flower market, I also ended up getting two little mini bouquets. How cute are these? And then she gave me this adorable bag. Um, but I love these little bouquets. These are real flowers. And then they're just wrapped in a little paper with twine. So cute. And they had flowers of all sizes there. But I just, I've never bought these little ones. So I wanted to add these to my collection. Now I'm at this cafe and it is so adorable in here. Um, I ended up getting a Nokcha bubble tea. It's been a long time since I have bubble tea. And I've been on like a green tea kick lately. So I got this. But anyways, I'm going to sit down and do some studying right now. Um, I'm actually using this textbook because I don't have my laptop. You guys know I love to use like online applications. I don't have my laptop, so I'm gonna be using this book that I brought with me. It is written by Su Kim, who is actually a like YouTuber. She makes videos on how to learn Korean. And she wrote this, and this book, you guys, is amazing. If you like learning like on paper, like if you wanna purchase a book to learn Korean, this is a really good one. Um, it's also very affordable. And yeah, it's like taught me so much. There's a lot of opportunities in here to write, which I really like because for me, like I don't have many opportunities to practice writing, you know, unless it's just like on paper. Um, so there's each lesson starts out with a dialogue and this has helped me a lot with my reading. This book is also really cool because there's also just like a ton of very informative facts about Korea. Like here she's talking about like the couple culture. Here she talks about like the age and the level of formality that you should use when talking to someone. Oh, also sorry about my botched nails. I'm getting them done tomorrow. But yeah, okay, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get my studying started now. I did want to say as much as I dislike the rain I love how cool it feels after a good rain shower I'm like I'm not hot I'm not sticky I'm not sweaty like it feels really good hey girl what's up what you doing what you doing what you doing come in hi Good morning everyone and happy Friday. So excuse this. I literally woke up like 15 minutes ago and took clear out. And now I'm going to a 9 a.m. nail appointment, which Oh girl, that is an early one, but um, it's the only time like, I could put me in today and I really wanted to get my nails taken care of because these guys like completely fell off. So, I'm gonna go there right now. It's only about like 10 minutes away on subway. If I have time, I'm gonna stop and get a coffee though because I feel like I'm about to fall asleep. Poor Cleo, she's looking at me. She's like, mom, please don't leave me. Anyways, I'll see you guys when I get over there. It's actually been a few hours and I just picked up my camera, but I got home. I ended up taking a shower. I did some editing. Here is how my nails turned out. I, I just can't not get stones. I know it's so obnoxious. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but look at that, my ring finger. Look at how beautiful. He like did this chain and then it kind of reminds me of like rock candy, like the texture. Anyways, they turned out so cute. Anyways, I just got off a call about something that is going to be really fun that's happening next week with me and another YouTuber. I think you guys probably know who she is, so 
that's really exciting. I just finished that call and now Cleo and I are going to head over to Busan Station because we are going to Daegu. As you guys know, I have a really good friend that lives in Daegu. His name is Ollie. He's a teacher in Korea. He has a ton of videos on YouTube about that topic. And he asked me, he was like, hey, do you want to go on a live stream with me? Because he does a live stream at the beginning of every month. And I was like, yes. So I'm going to Daegu tonight and then we're gonna live stream together tomorrow morning. But I need to hurry over there. I need to get there before rush hour. Otherwise I might not be able to get a ticket. So Miss Cleo, you wanna go? Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Welcome to Daegu. We, I just got to Ollie's like an hour ago. We just talked for a little bit. When was the last time I saw you? Uh, I came to yours for... Ikea? Yes, oh my gosh, it was Ikea, oh, yeah. That was a long time ago. That was such a long time ago. Yeah, um, if you didn't see our Ikea vlog, I'll have it linked below. But I'm here visiting him now and we are going to get a bite to eat because we are hungry. The dogs are chilling at his place. Yeah. He lives in the cutest area. There's like tons of playgrounds nice. around here. Yeah. There's three in a row. Yeah, it's not raining. It feels good. It's not like now. super humid now. I mean, <laughs> it was humid right. about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, when I got here, it was like, whew. But um, yeah, here, I'll give you guys a view. Are you? <laughs> What? We pass all the grass and you're giving yeah. them a view of the, the only road. The, the weeds. <laughs> <laughs> What do you like? I've got pecan or pecan. Strawberry milk. Honestly, it all sounds good. Is it actual milk? Like just milk? Yeah, Oreo. Black sesame. What cone do I want? Oh my gosh. Um, I have not had one of those oh. in such a long time. Shooting star. So this is my actual flavor in Korea. I just thought it was a Baskin Robbins thing. Ooh. She put gone. She put this on. So we are at this gorgeous cafe and it is so cool. There's actually an upstairs, which is where you order and there's tables up there. And down here is like a whole kind of like clothing shop? boutique shop yeah. going on. Clothing boutique slash cafe. Yeah. Tuesday. I am going to start getting ready now. I also just took a shower. I'm going to start getting ready now to head over to the beach area. I'm actually doing my first radio call to radio show today, I guess, radio interview. I don't really know what to call it. Um, but I'm really excited because the English radio channel here reached out to me and they wanted to do just a quick interview about my YouTube channel and about you guys. So I'm really excited to be doing that today. I really have no idea what to expect because I've never done anything like that. I did want to show you guys when I was in Daegu, I got the cutest robe at one of their little boutiques in downtown. I am wearing it right now and this is what it looks like. As you guys know, I always wear this one, which my mom gave me. I love this. But this is 
much better I think for winter because it's a little bit heavier winter or spring or fall just a little bit heavier and I always would get hot in it so I wanted to get something that was much lighter and I really really like this they had this modeled under bikinis so I don't know if it's also supposed to be like a cover-up or just a robe but anyways I'm going to go ahead and get ready now as far as the rest of today goes after the show, I had to come back here and pick up little Miss Cleo, and then I'm taking her to her pet sitter. She's gonna be there for a week because starting tomorrow, I'm doing a um, like a fish tour around Busan with a company, and then I'm gonna be going to Seoul on Saturday for another um, kind of like travel collaboration type of thing. So I do have a busy week coming up, and I also have to pack for all of that stuff today. I don't know when I'm gonna find the time for all of this because I also have a plan to meet Sharon tonight. She got a new job, so um, she's gonna be really busy also starting like in a few days, so we decided that tonight would be kind of like a hurrah to celebrate all of that. So I'm very busy today, but I just wanna update you guys so yeah, I'm gonna get ready and I'll see you guys when I head out.